Hello everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel if you're new. Before we start the video, just a quick thank you to everyone because not long ago I was saying thank you to get me to 100 subscribers. I didn't think that less than a month later we'd be at 150 already, so thank you so much for that. And I'm going to keep pushing, we're going to go for 160 now. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the videos, then feel free to hit that subscribe button and help us get there. If you do end up enjoying today's video, then hit that like button so that we can push this video out to more people, hopefully bring more people into the channel, and keep building this nice community that we've started on this channel now. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the potential signing of Declan Rice to Chelsea. With Chelsea's transfer business being borderline exceptional this season, it seems like we're going to be signing another goalkeeper before the end of the season in Edward Mendy. And we could very well stop there, but it looks like Chelsea are taking an interest, if not this window, but at least in a future window, in West Ham and England's Declan Rice. He's a kind of player that's creating a divide between fans about whether we need him or not, whether we've got better players at the club, whether they're going to be cheaper options out there. We'll talk about all of that in the video, but he's also a player that seems to be dividing the Chelsea Football Club. It seems like Lampard's really pushing to bring his man in and according to reports the board aren't so keen, don't really see the value in buying him for what is rumoured to be £70 million. So we'll talk about all of that, whether he's a viable signing, whether we have better options at the club already, if there could be better options out there, and just kind of try and sum up everything we know about his potential transfer. So what we know so far about this transfer is that Frank Lampard especially really wants Declan Rice to join Chelsea. He plays for West Ham, West Ham wanting £70 million for him. If we went properly for him, who knows, we could negotiate it to around 50 Maybe we could send some players their way, but it might not be a definite this transfer window, but most of the reputable journalists have said that there is a clear interest in Chelsea that he should be our next target. At West Ham, Declan Rice plays in a defensive midfield role. Most of the time he has been known to play centre-back. A lot of people that like Declan Rice like his leadership style, his mentality, the fact that he's pretty good on the ball and, and when he's played at the back he's been pretty solid for West Ham. He's obviously young, English, which fits the Chelsea mould. He came through the Chelsea Academy too. He gets on really well with some of the Chelsea players like his best friends Mason Mount. He would suit the team really nicely. So you have to ask, for upwards of £60 million, is he worth buying? Now it seems like Frank Lampard would say so, it seems like he really wants him in the squad and if rumours to be believed we want him as a centre back, not as a defensive midfielder. For West Ham he often plays in the defensive role on his own with two central midfielders in front of him. If he did that at Chelsea it would be like the Kante kind of role but I don't think he will do that, I think if we did buy him he would be for centre back. So now some of the problems that a lot of fans have with Declan Rice joining is the fact that we want him to play centre-back, but we don't really know how good of a centre-back he'll be. He's done it at West Ham a few times, but could he do it at a big club like Chelsea consistently? He's not the tallest player in the world or anything like that. He's not the most physical, so how would he do it at the back? Now, people think he's the one to take John Terry's reign as like this captain and centre-back at the club once Aspilicueta has gone. I don't think he will, but I think he would be a big voice in the dressing room if we did sign him. That obviously would work really well in the dynamic of that Chelsea dressing room being friends with a lot of them English players. You can imagine if we signed him this season that he might line up in defence alongside a Zuma or Thiago Silva. Maybe if we buy him next season then he might be partnered with someone like Zuma more consistently as Thiago Silva gets on a bit more in his age. Maybe he won't be a first team choice anymore. So I think if we did buy Declan Rice it would be for that centre back position. But then you have to pose the argument that a lot of Chelsea fans have been talking about recently which is like our centre backs bar Thiago Silva who we don't know how he's going to do at the club yet aren't really working well as a pair and if we're going to go for a centre-back we need to buy someone who is just going to be one of them players that slots in and you know he's going to do well. Think about a Virgil van Dijk for Liverpool, they knew that was the man that they wanted, they went and got him and he was already a class centre-back at Southampton and then he went and did it at Liverpool. Americ Laporte was brilliant in La Liga, Man City went out, identified him and now he's their best centre-back. Do Chelsea, who are trying to push for the top of the division, really need to take a risk in buying a player who might not be suited to the centre-back role, we don't know, for an extortionate amount really. Maybe just because he's English, maybe that's why his price is so high. When in reality, there are probably better centre-back options out there. And we have a lot of young players coming through at the club. For example, Ethan Ampadu, who we sent out and went to Sheffield, can both play in that defensive midfield role and that centre-back role. Obviously, we don't know how he's going to do it at Sheffield. This will kind of be his make-or-break season. But what if we signed Rice and then it turned out Ethan Ampadu was brilliant in the Premier League? Do we then play him at the back with Rice? Would Rice have been a waste of a signing? Will we have to waste Ampadu and sell him out? And then you have to also ask yourself if outside of Chelsea there are better options instead of him. For example, Chelsea were like tediously linked with Jimenez from Atletico Madrid. Would he be a better centre-back option? Someone who's played there consistently for one of the best teams defensively in Europe, who would probably cost a similar amount to what West Ham have asked for Declan Rice and could be a better player. A lot of Chelsea fans are saying it's Frank Lampard's like English bias that he wants Declan Rice, but who knows? Now there does seem to be some tension according to reports between the board and Lampard about if they want Rice, Lampard is really for it, the board aren't so much. In my opinion, in this case you've just got to kind of back the manager if you really want someone like that and they want to keep Lampard around as a long-term project. 
you have to kind of give him the targets that he wants. But at the same time, for me, I don't want us to buy Declan Rice if he's going to be a centre-back. I know some people will argue with that opinion, but I think he could be a good option if, say, Ross Barkley leaves the club. We could even use him in the deal for Declan Rice. Then I think Declan Rice would be a really good option in the midfield, and then maybe we can try him out at centre-back and see how he does. But I don't think we should buy him with like the out-and-out -out intention of him being our new centre-back, because I don't feel like we should try someone who's... Unless he goes on and plays a whole season at West Ham in centre-back and looks brilliant, I don't think we should just test people out just in case they're good at centre-back. Another point is, due to the lack of experience that he has at centre-back, we can't guarantee he's going to be a guy, especially if we're paying that amount of money for him, that's going to fix our defensive issues. Like, is he better than Zuma? Is he better than Thiago Silva? Is he better than Christensen? Probably, maybe, who knows? It depends how this season goes for Christensen, because in that first game, I know it was only Brighton, but I thought Brighton looked quite dangerous, and I thought Christensen did well. Is he better than Rudiger? Someone who's been experienced at centre-back for years, even if he hasn't shown that great form in the last couple of seasons. So who knows? It's all well and good trying someone out from the academy and centre-back if you don't know if they can play there. But going out and paying 70 odd million pounds for someone who might not be able to do it does seem like kind of a waste of money unless they are planning on using him as a midfielder with the option of centre-back rather than a centre-back with the option to play midfield. I hope that does kind of make sense, but they're my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Again, I wouldn't be completely against him joining. I just think that Chelsea should have a bit more of a look at Ampadu on loan, maybe wait until the next window or the next summer transfer window for Declan Rice. We've already committed a lot to spend and bringing new players into the clubs, so do we really need to go out and spend another 70 million when we're not really selling off any players either in the hopes of signing someone who could be good in defence? I don't really know. It's kind of got me split in opinion. I was very much for him before and now I'm not so sure. So let me know what you guys think because I always just want to start a discussion. So let me know your opinions if you think this could be a good kind of sign. And again, if we can whittle the price down, it's a similar stance to what I took on Chilwell. If we've gone out and paid 80 million for Chilwell, like the original report said, everyone will be against it. But for 50 million, a lot of people were kind of like, okay, young English left back, could be our left back for a years to come. And we're a bit more okay with it. So we'll see if we can knock the price down if we do even go from this window. But it's Chelsea Football Club, who knows what could happen in the next few days. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you again for all your support recently on the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.